Hello, my name is Ben Beckwith and this is my Fly of the Month. Hopefully it will help you catch a few more fish in the coming weeks. Today I'll be tying a fantastic pattern for April. It's called the Muskins and it's great nymph for general purpose nymphing on your reservoirs and small still waters. The materials I'll be using today are natural pheasant tail, red game cock hackle fibres, glow bright number six, copper wire and of course the hook. The hook in the vise is a size 10 wet heavy standard uh, wet fly hook and the thread I'll be using is sheer 14-0 in black. So we're going to start the thread at the eye of the hook and wrap all the way down till we get to the barb. Snip the thread to prepare your tail, you're just going to get the red game cock hackle fibres pull them down gently so they come about 90 degrees from the, the stem and that will just give you, line them up nicely and give you a nice tail. Pinch them and just pull. To measure them to the size of the hook, you're just going to put them down on the top about the length of the shank of the hook, it's a good length. Hold them down, pinch and loop to secure two turns. You don't want to build too much bulk up so the minimal turns is ideal. And then you're just going to snip the top. So for your rib, you want a fine copper wire, and again, it's going to put that on top with a couple of turns. For the body, using natural pheasant tail, it's going to put three, three strands should be enough. Line up the tips, tie them in nice and gently. And you want to wrap up, tying that all in nice and securely to about four mil from the eye of the hook so you've got space for your thorax. Then you're going to wrap your pheasant tail away from you. I'll show you why in a minute. So touching turns to give yourself a nice even body. And then you're going to tie it off nice and gently. There we go. And snip that. Then to secure in your pheasant tail with your rib, you're going to wrap it towards you the opposite way to the pheasant tail. This just locks it all in. Come over, you want to cross over it with your thread and then tie it in like so. It's a nice body there for you. Right. Then for your thorax cover, again with the pheasant tail, but this time you want about five or six fibers. You're just going to trim off the tips like so. Then, if you lay them on top of the shank, just going to tie them in about the length that you want your thorax to be. Just make sure that comes over nicely and it should sit nicely on top. For the thorax, you're going to use fox squirrel. Just come off the actual pelt itself, just pull it off. And you get the nice spiky fibers. Just going to wrap it in like so. It is quite hard to dub, so you just have to tie it, wrap it on really, really tight, and then it will splay nicely and give you a very natural, spiky looking thorax. Then you're going to pull your thorax cover over, a couple of turns to secure, and snip off. Then for the breathers, glow bright number six together. And again, so you've got about four strands together there. Roll them together, just keep them nice and tight together. On top, two turns, and then you can roll it around like so. And just figure of eight to lock it in. As you can see, it sits nicely on the side. So now you figure of eight it in the wing buds, they're nice and secure. And all you're going to do is you're going to trim them so they're about two mil or so in length. They're only little trigger points on the fly. So you don't need them to be too long. They just sit there nicely like little breathers on a buzzer. All you're going to do then is your whip finish. And your fly is finished. A dab of super glue on the head. 
just to secure it all and keep it fastened. It's an incredibly versatile fly. There's all sorts of different colors, threads, all sorts of different tinsels you can put in the thoraxes. There's loads of different ways you can adjust it to your personal preference and to your water. The best way to fish this fly and others like it, of course, in, in April or through the year, really, uh, is a floater or midge-tip line and fish it on it with a team of straight line or washing line nymphs. And hopefully it will catch plenty of fish for you, tight lines and happy fishing.